Oh, these ain't empty. Oh, oh this ain't empty. this thing here. I want to see what's underneath this big. Maybe they got something cool. Oh yeah. Money, money. money. What happened to these people, man? This was an old couple, man. That looks like they had it for a long time. You get what you got, you know? Come in, pay three or four hundred bucks, and then I think somewhere in this COVID thing last year, sometime they fell off the grid. They moved to Akron. They were in Kent. Can't get a hold of them. And she actually came in the last time she came in paid. She came in the new Akron address, verified it. It actually got accepted. The certified letter got accepted, and they never came. Yeah, I think. Yeah. I, I think honestly, the dude was real old. I think he died. Well, I passed away. Younger, and I think she did. Yeah, that happens. <laughs> it looked like it has been there for a long time. So How are we it? doing, everybody? That's right. It's Robert Zaba, the auctioneer extraordinaire with Second Sense Auctions. And guess what? We're in Kent, Ohio. I purchased this unit online. I spent more than I wanted to spend on it, but listen, I'm in a position sometimes I could take a little gamble. It looked like a his and hers unit, and they put a bunch of stuff in there. It looks like it's been sitting there a long time, but I've seen her items. I've seen his items. I talked to the owner. He said they paid on it for years. They would fall behind, come in and pay four, five, six, seven hundred dollars at one time. But they ended up moving. He said he had the new address. The lady came in last time. She paid a bunch of money, and that was over a year ago. Well, she was far behind on rent. Finally, the unit's up for auction. I bought it. He believes that her husband passed away, and she didn't want the unit anymore. I'm. <laughs> I'm excited. I can't wait to see what's inside there. What did they leave behind? They didn't want it anymore. And any personal items, I'll give back to them. One of the ways I make money, I buy storage units and I sell stuff at auction. Check out the site, www.secondsense.com. And if you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? We're going to see units like this. I try to show you guys the best units that I can find. Let's see if this is one of them. All right, ladies and gentlemen, this is why I purchased this unit. I want to show you a few reasons why. One right here. These are old, pressed steel vehicles. And I know you guys are like, man, these are bad shape, but this is an old, look at that Tonka toys right there. I mean, these are 1950 Tonkas. It's got the doors, everything else. You could definitely restore it. Rusty, trusty, gold. But then look at here. Another old Tonka. I mean, this is heavy steel there. It's got the original hose, the, the ladders in there, number five engine. But to find these kind of Tonka trucks, they're just not out there anymore, ladies and gentlemen. You can find the ones from the 70s. These are like 50s. These are really old Tonkas. And then behind here's another, another one. Okay. Oh, wow. <clears throat> it's even cooler than I thought, Chachi. I got Chachi the paparazzi, by the way. This is a strut coup. But just by the shape, how they're made, you can see they're very curved, 1950 style, 1960s. And uh, those three vehicles there, no, they're not in the greatest condition. If they were all in mint condition, that paid for the unit. But in this condition, it's probably at least $100, maybe $150 for those three vehicles. And that's one of the reasons I bought the unit, right there. And this side looked like the girl's side, the lady side. I mean, right here, I got all these. And what these are right here, these are dress uh, or um, patterns. And patterns have some value. Look at these Halloween ones. There's costume patterns. I know these are desirable. But you would use these to make clothes. 
You know, you can make outfits out of it. You can make dresses. And this whole thing's full of patterns. All of these full of patterns. And those do have value. And then I see back there, look, all kind of boxes just loaded. And another reason I bought the unit, what do I keep finding? What do I keep getting, Chachi? Trains. <laughs> right here. Oh my gosh. It's so heavy. Oh. There ain't no ifs, ands, or bucks. It's in there. It's not in there. And, uh, they just put it in the wrong way. Look, Chachi. KB Toys. How long ago KB Toys has been out of business, you know? This says 1999, and uh, this little train here, I looked it up, it's about a hundred and a dollar train or so. So, but it's definitely in there, you can take a look down there, chance. There's all the track. I mean, I'll push it this way. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Beautiful. So, my thoughts on the unit. We got the lady stuff, number one. Number two, we got old toys. We got a train. What else could be in there? Look at all the boxes. And then right here, this, these are always desirable. This is a horse head right there. This is all metal, and it's a vintage ashtray. These pedestal ashtrays, this one at least minimum $30 probably at the auction. I might get 50 bucks for that thing. But that's vintage goodness. Everyone loves those things. And it's a multi-collectible because it has a horse head. So Chachi and I are going to start digging in. First, we're going to get these cars out of the way. Who knows what we're going to find. All right. So we found vintage toys, other vintage goodness here. We got a train. We're only a few feet in. <clears throat> I can't wait to see what else is in here. This says bedrooms. You never know about bedrooms, Chachi. But we're going to wait a minute to go in there. I'm just starting well, let's see what this is on here. Oh, that's a heavy box. I'll wait to move it. We got some kind of wood. This says pantyhose and socks. So let's see if that's what's in here. No. We got your favorite, Josh. Books. So uh, Stephen King. Hardcover. That's good. And some books can go for good money. And... A lot of books don't have a lot of value. And then I saw the sign in here, which kind of got me excited because it kind of looks like a train sign. And if he had this, he might be a mega train collector. You know what I'm saying, Trash? Mm -hmm. This is like homemade. Oh, oh, Trash, he figured it out. There we go. What do you think? So who knows what we're gonna find here, Trash? And that box that says bedrooms, that got me interested. We'll go up here first. Oh. Ooh, Halloween stuff. Halloween's coming up and it always sells. Ooh. What do you think, Chance? Oh, this whole thing just loaded. All kinds of Halloween things here. Little treat bags. There's a skeleton in here. A witch's wig. So, and the whole thing is just full of Halloween goodness. So, and Halloween always sells their chest. Yep. Money, money. Ooh. Man. Ooh, look at this. So we know she had fabric. This is this. I mean, the, you know, this is all fabric. Look, it's like cowboy themed. And uh, we know she had a bunch of sewing stuff. I'm saying, so she probably made Halloween costumes. And this whole thing's just loaded with different types of fabric. Fabric is not cheap. This says Western. So that's interesting. Man, this thing is just loaded. This Mickey Mouse box is intriguing too. Ooh, what's this? Empty. There's some kind of Christmas stuff, but empty. There's something in here, though. Lighted holiday train set. Ooh, another train, Chachi. 
Now we found two trains. And that train sign. Maybe we hit a train collection. We'll find out in a few minutes. We got a nice amount. What the heck is this? Look at this. It's, is that Clark Gable? It's the military. It's really well drawn, painted, whatever. Is that the guy that's in here? It's interesting, Chachi. Looks like Clark Gable, but. Oh. Get a little picture of girl and cat. Oh wow! This one's really cool. That old picture. The boy and his dog. So that's pretty cool. Man, I'm really getting excited some of the stuff I'm starting to see. We gotta move this stuff out of our way. And we're gonna go inside and see what else we find. This is a mid-century modern table and that was the thing, there's lots of dust on stuff. I mean, look at this. See all the dust, there's cobwebs, and that's one of the reasons I bought it, and then, oh, look at Chach. There's two, it looks like two trunks right there. And that's a metal trunk and a wood trunk right there. Who knows what could be in those? I found awesome things in trunks. We still got the box that's marked bedroom. Let's see what's in here. Oh, these are plastic legs for shelving, it looks like. <laughs> yeah, bowling ball, Josh. And this looks like another bowling ball, another bowling ball, another bowling ball, another bowling. Oh my gosh, this is all bowling ball. Is Look at that old keyboard for a computer. It looks like we got like five or six bowling balls right here. So let's look over here. I see this bowling ball. And once again, I see the dust, the dirt. Ooh, all right there's money. Look at that old ornate lock set. Look at how ornate that handle is. I mean, right here, I might get ten to twenty dollars at auction. One little item sitting on the floor, and that's why I want this. This unit's going to be full of just vintage good items. Let's see this type right Yeah. The question is, what color is the chacha? Because some colors are more valuable than others. This is the white beige one. Yeah. I don't know. I might get ten, twenty bucks. Sometimes I get thirty, forty bucks for two right So. It's a cool box, but it feels empty. It feels empty. Underneath it looks like some kind of... Brand new jewelry design? That could be a good sign, though. They're making jewelry. They can might have jewelry. Oh, speaking of what's right here. I just saw a whole box of this. Beads. We're making jewelry, Chachi. This whole thing is just loaded. So, right here is probably another $10, $20 bill. All the patterns, the brand new thing for jewelry making. This whole shelf's just full of all patterns. Let's see what's in here in the Halloween box. Oh, sure there's a heavy Halloween box, Chachi. Huh. This old piggy bank. It's brusted up, but just look how old it is. Ho ho ho! I'm gonna open that in a minute. That's a really good sign. This is Midway Grandma. Oh, for bowling. Now these things here, this could be sterling silver. I'm trying to see if I see a mark or anything. It's probably silver plate, but what an interesting box. Fabric, fabric, books, books, paperwork, seashell, huh. no rhyme or reason. The question is, but it's a good sign. Hopefully we'll find some jewelry in here. Right here. Oh. We got a, ooh. Cassette recorder in the box. Looks like a bunch of fabric couching. Miscellaneous household. Oh, no. Books. Looks like 
would say horror books here. So we'll probably sell the whole box of books. So who knows what we'll get, and this whole thing is loaded. Let's see what we got. It says library. Whoa. Hey. Little chip in there. This looks like this is all VHS tapes. Whoa. This looks like clothing. This looks like VHS tapes. And VHS tapes. And then down. Oh, 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 I'm getting excited. I see a box down there. It looks like that could be jewelry or silver right there. These are all brand new Christmas time plates right here. And then that, hopefully that's in there. So we gotta get these VHS tapes out of our way. And we're gonna move right back here. We're gonna see what's in here, here, and see if there's anything in there. Don't forget, we still got the bedroom box. We got all this stuff over here. We got the trunks. Who knows what we're gonna find in this unit. I'm excited. All right. Man, this person loved bowling, lots of bowling balls. So we're gonna go back here. So yeah, it looks like fabric. Yeah, look. So this stuff for all, stuff for sewing. Person definitely had a hobby. Of course, is this in here? No. It's an empty truck. Yeah. Look at that. 60 bag holders, 20 cell phone tissue holders. So she must have made all these different things. People could use. Can't wait to see what's in that box. You gotta get a few things out of our way. We got more fabric. Oh, look at this little tuck right here. The Underwood 5, Chachi. It feels like it's definitely more than five pounds. <laughs> People are like, Ralph, don't you work out? Yeah, every day. Work out. And don't get upset. Let's see these garbage. <laughs> All right. Man, I'm excited, Chachi. Right down here. That box paid for this unit 10 times over, but first. Huh. Interesting. So this box is empty, so it's probably somewhere in here. Oh, what's this? Oh, holy smoke. You know what time it is, Chachi? Say hammer time. <laughs> It's hammer time. Okay. Right. Yeah. Some bowling shoes. And where the heck you get into the ball here? Now the bag says hammer on it, which is hammer bowling balls. It's above my pay grade here. Maybe underneath the shoes. Oh, I see. I don't know how you get underneath. Oh man! Holy smoke! Look at those. Two more bowling balls, Josh. We got a whole collection now. All right, we're going for this box. Oh, these ain't empty. Oh, oh is this ain't empty? Oh, something. All right. And a silverware. <laughs> Silver plated, unfortunately. Yeah. Silver plate, but there could be some sterling pieces in here. You have to look through everything. See a lot of the Rogers, but we'll still get money for it. We'll sell this whole box. And sometimes the flatware sets like this go for 20, sometimes 50 to 100 bucks. Definitely money. You got this bedroom box. Go through that one minute. Let's see what's in these totes first. Interesting. I think this might be all sewing stuff in here. It's a cool little box. Huh. Empty box with a key. Here's like a, a random airing. There's a ring in there, but it's just a fake ring. It's a fake coin in there. And... No way! It's the monkeys. Um, can you see it, Josh? Yeah, shit, bro. 
That's pretty cool. That's vintage goodness. I wasn't expecting that. Ooh, a bowling 600 club member pin. That's gold filled right there. Take a look at that, Georgia. So we got the monkeys in a ring. Piece of jewelry. Gold filled vintage pen. Oh man. Maybe this is the Sterling. We'll find out in a second. Classic cars. Like these boxes, we'll go through more of these totes better at the shop. I mean, they just threw stuff in here. Right here, that's a beautiful piece of glass. goodness got money right there and another vintage ring I think it's one of the guys from the monkeys it says Peter yeah man that's cool ah! it's alive <laughs> so we got some alive bugs in here there's another one let's see what this one looks like Ooh, spider. There's change in here. There's money. And it's like, that's the thing about... Here, there's, there's another pin in here. So you just don't know what you're going to find. Like I said, there's so many totes in here. We're going to have so many totes full of mystery. It's going to be such a fun unit. I'm digging down, Chuck. Sewing boxes, maybe. Look at that. Sewing stuff, and there's another one right here. I can see the pins are right on top. All kind of stuff. So this person definitely had a huge hobby. Like I said, I think this was her side, and I think this is his side. So I'm thinking the train came from over here. So I, I, maybe I could be wrong. It could be all mixed up. But the bowling balls were on both sides, though. So. They probably both bowl together. And then I saw this. Oh! Wow. It looked like it was a brand new in the box. Singer sewing machine. Box is empty. So, let's see what's in here. Hopefully this is the silver. This is some kind of plate, more of a silver plate. You always gotta check because some of these pieces, one piece could be a sterling silver. And a piece like this, sterling silver, is probably worth 30, 40, 50 bucks. Depends on how much it weighs. Well, we gotta put this little bit of stuff away. Then we're gonna see what's inside the bedroom box. I mean, we found vintage monkey rings, um, silver plate, Tonka trucks, all kinds of stuff, and we found this guy, don't forget. I mean, who's that, Walt Disney? <clears throat> um, I mean, uh, lots of different people it could be. You guys tell me, who do you think it is? You think it's me? You think it's Chachi? I mean, who knows? And we've got this bedroom box right here. But first, let's take a peek. I seen this thing here, I wanna see what's underneath this thing. Maybe they got something cool. Money, 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 Josh. Oh, yeah. oh. Look at the dress form. And so you can adjust the different sizes. I've never seen what the adjuster like that. You ever see that, Josh? No, that's my first time I've ever seeing something like that. So you can uh, increase the bust by just turning it. Unbelievable. That's got to be worth the money. Some kind of, I don't know if this is clothes that you made. Probably, I don't know. We definitely got clothes. There's a bunch of fabric back here. But let's see what's in the bedroom box. Ooh, 
Está bien. Interesting, interesting. So first I see this. Is there anything inside? Ooh. Licorice trash. No, thank you. Come on, man. Those things are good forever. Then we got some uh, fish wall decoration. And we got this thing. It's a base for something. No treble, just all about the base. Little wood box. This whole thing's just loaded with, looks like all decoration kind of stuff, decor. Hello. <laughs> it's like a little fish popping out there. Just a little plug. This whole thing's loaded. Fish and fish. Oh, what's this? Look at that fish platter. So, interesting, interesting stuff. This unit is loaded. We got those two trunks over there, Chachi. I mean, I can see this is fabric, this is fabric. Who knows what's in some of these boxes. This whole thing goes that way. There's boxes all back this way. If you guys haven't subscribed, I don't know what you're waiting for. Subscribe, hit that bell. Get on your notification, guys. You're going to check out another video. This unit, it's full of vintage goodness and I just can't wait to see. Look at all the stuff we got left. What else we're going to find, Chachi?